A very warm welcome to Card of the Day for this wonderful day, Saturday the 30th of January 2021. And my name is Julie Sean and how are you all doing today? Right, the deck I am chosen to use today, was drawn to, is The Keepers of the Light by the awesome Carl Gray. He does some amazing work with angels. So if you want to know, oh, lots of ways of connecting with angels, check out Carl Gray. I get no paid for no money for advertising him, um, but he's very, very knowledgeable. Keepers of the Light. It comes with a lovely little book, which I will probably be referring to, because this is uh, uh, how to connect with your ascended masters. So without any more to do, let's connect with our angels, our archangels, spirits and guides, gods and goddesses, ascended masters, ancestors, and elementals. Let's see what message our guides have for us today. There's a card sticking, no, it's not sticking out. I thought it was, but it won't come out. Oh, I went to take two cards and uh, two came out. Uh, we had Lord, so I think, because they came out together, this is like a joint message. So we will look at Lord Shiva, it's an Indian god, and it is trans transcendence. Rise up, honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. Da, 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 da. Okay, sorry. And the other one is Matava Babaji. Soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. So. Sorry about the light today. Right, so what I think I'll do first, I'm going to look at Lord Shiva first, even though they both came out at the same time. <clears throat> Make sure I can just get it now. So I'm going to learn my now for bed. Oh, we've got Lord Kanish. Oh, here we are. Lord Shiva. I don't know much about this amazing Indian god. So please forgive me reading. Right. Lord <clears throat> Shiva. Lord Shiva, transcendence, rise up, honour your inner force. Steps are being given. Ooh, dance with the universe. <clears throat> Shiva is one of India's trinity of male god figures. He is depicted wearing a cobra around his neck representing his capacity to tame fear or the ego. Surrounded by stars, showing his connection to the cosmos and holding a trident, acknowledging the three aspects of divine masculine power. <clears throat> in India, in, in Indian, in India, all right, masculine power in India, creator, preserver, destroyer. Is the creator, preserver, and destroyer. Interesting. He is known as the destroyer because of his warrior-like energy and ability to destroy fear. He will destroy fear and the ego. Awesome. Awesome. He is a facet of the divine father energy and offers paternal protection, support, and guidance. He is also acknowledged as the cosmic dancer because he helps coordinate the interaction between Earth and the cosmos. He has the capacity to help us move beyond the fear of failure and into clarity and connection. Oh my God, what an awesome card. What an awesome Indian God. The extended message. Lord Shiva is with you right now to awaken your sense of connection to life itself. You are moving through a deep transition and things will be clearer from this point on. You will know exactly what you need to do and where you need to be. This is a powerful time as you will transcend lim limitations that others have set for you. It is a time of innovation, ideas, stargazing, soul traveling and soul retrieval. Shiva, the Lord of Dance, is here 
and his sacred sound of Om to lead the way. Now, the snake, which they talk about surrounding is a form, is a sign of transformation as well. So, because the snake sheds its skin every year and transforms. It's a very symbolic. So there's lots of wonderful sim symbolic images here. Look at his hand, look at the moon above him, the crescent moon. On his third eye, awaking his third eye, the trident over his heart, all the beads, the blueness or the, well, it's almost blue silver color, spiritual colors. And around his neck, speak your truth. Let's all dance. <clears throat> so take a moment to connect with Shiva. Awesome, awesome. Creator, preserver and destroyer. He can create a new life. He will preserve all that is good and he will destroy the ego and all that is not of serving us to our highest good. <clears throat> now we will move on to Mahavata Babaji. Okay, yes, I know we've got two. Can't find them. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so, oh, this, all the stars. Look at his beautiful eyes, serenity. He's so peaceful. And look around his throat. Awesome, awesome. So let's see what Mahavata Babaji, soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. Your understanding, you are understanding the connection between all things. We are all connected to each other. Mahavata means great incarnation or avatar, and Babaji means sacred father. Mahavata Babaji is a deeply respected master yogi who was introduced to the world through the teachings of the Indian yogi Param Paramahamsa Yoganda. Babaji, as he's called to, for short, is said to be over 2,000 years old, is able to travel between Earth and other worlds. He is said to have an invisible temple in the Himalayas that can appear to those who want to connect with many, connect with many believe that he is like Christ himself, bringing deep love, acceptance, forgiveness, insight and direction. You may feel that you're treated, you have retreated from the world recently. Maybe you've not been as active socially or spiritually, but this time of inner rest has really paid off. You are becoming more and more consciously aware of how connected you are to God and all living things. This sense of union is called yoga. Yoga goes beyond physical ability and to a sense of awareness that created, that's created through spiritual practice, meditation and devotion to the divine. Mahavata Babaji, the yogic father, is here to inspire that fire of union within you so that you can understand how your thoughts and actions are creating the waves of energy that form your life. Can you see all around his head connecting to the end universe? And, on, <clears throat> and that symbol is above it on his higher heart connecting. And it's like um, the OM, oh, OM symbol as well. Both cards referring to OM, both cards connecting, both cards becoming one, trans transcend, and soul expansion, transcendental and soul expansion. So it's all to do with spiritual change. 
spiritual change today. And we have Lord Shiva and Babaji both watching over us. Have a wonderful spiritual day today. Just take a breath in, hold, and let go, and center yourself and connect yourself. Two amazing ascended masters that have come to us today to work with us, to help ascend us, to realize that we're all one. We're all love. Awesome cards. Thank you, Carl Gray, for that. Um, if you're looking for your own reading, message me and uh, Spaces is limited at the moment. But please do message me if you'd like to book yourself a reading, a one to one. They're available on Zoom. Have an absolutely awesome, awesome Saturday wherever you are. Take care. Namaste. Bye.